Ciao ragazzi, in today's video I'm gonna show how you fully set up DuckStation the PS1 emulator and provide you with everything you need to keep it up and running and setting up your controller. With anything for you to do ragazzi, let's hop into my desktop, let's get the job done. Huh? Alright ragazzi, it's my beautiful desktop right now, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna navigate to our web browser. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below ragazzi, so you don't have to go and try and error, you're welcome. Once you're here, click on Windows and I want you to download VC++ RT ragazzi if you don't have it installed on your Windows. Once you're done, you want to download the Duck. The website gonna ask you ragazzi, wherever you want to save it i save it in downloads as you might see here so i don't gonna download i'm not gonna download again the second thing we're gonna need is a ps1 bios ragazzi i'm gonna provide you with this as well uh, join my discord server and i got you all right uh, once you got both of those files ragazzi i want you to close your web browser we're gonna navigate wherever we saved a bios and the duck station as i said ragazzi i saved it in downloads so what you want to do you want to right click on the duck station ragazzi and extract all once it's done repeat the same thing for the ps1 bios ragazzi right click and extract all once you're done close the ps1 bios one and they add a download wherever you have uninstructed them ragazzi from here ragazzi we're gonna go to duck station and you're gonna go to duck station qt 64 release t CG. Double click and it's gonna say Windows protect your PC. Yeah? Don't worry, ragazzi. Click on more info and run anyway. Once this little window opens, ragazzi, you can close this one here. And from here, ragazzi, language, choose whatever you like. Uh, dark fusion this is an automatic and have automatic update. It's good. Next, the second thing, ragazzi, here is gonna ask you for your BIOS. We click on browse and we go to download, ragazzi, wherever you have it. Click on and we click on this one here, ragazzi, and select the folder. Once you do this, ragazzi, double check. Once you click on auto detect, uh, that means uh, you have successful detected your BIOS. The second thing, next. Now here, ragazzi, is gonna ask you where your games are. I'm not gonna provide you with games, ragazzi. You have to do it on yourself, all right? We have to locate your games, ragazzi. Mine are in this PC, D, D drive, ROMs, and uh, PlayStation. So like this folder. And uh, would you like to scan? Uh, say yes, ragazzi. Done. You're gonna see a check mark. Next. Now when it comes to the controller, ragazzi, you can use a PS4 or Xbox One. I'm gonna use a PS4 because I wanna make it authentic. To able to connect the PS4 controller to your PC, ragazzi, you press on the share and the playstation logo at the same time it's going to blink like this uh, once it blink like this i got you go to here and go to bluetooth and you're going to see wireless controller input click on it and it says wireless controller connected now here i got see we're going to go auto automatic mapping and you're going to select sld lc4 ps4 controller or for the xbox one done next here i got see intense resolution i got see it depends on your pc and it depends on your screen my screen is uh, 1440p so i go for 14 p native a6 uh, nearest neighbor don't need that speed texture filtering don't play with that true color keep it at ease auto game aspect ratio if you want a full screen ragazzi go for 16 by 9 that i recommend crop don't end, end anything a billion smooth keep that here ragazzi i want you to do on click on pgxp geometry correction it will automatically put what uh compatible for your game so you don't have to think and don't do this ragazzi because not all games are compatible next if you have uh, achievements you can do this i have it but i'm not going do this ragazzi but if you want you can do it easy you can click on it and then you can put your login and stuff next and uh, setup complete ragazzi finish as you might see my game showing up ragazzi and my controller is fully ready now the last thing i want to do ragazzi is to show you little things you can do double click if you run the game but what i want you to get ragazzi so when you start the game it's gonna directly start and out and full full screen if you don't want like this uh, playstation logo and thingies you know that start up you do fast food you start like, to the game i like the nostalgic feeling so i keep it as it is and with that all said ragazzi we done let's start my favorite game of all time eh, and see if it's going to actually work all right the moment with you ragazzi does it work yes this one works ragazzi and this one as well it depends what you like and look the visuals ragazzi beautiful we don't need to do anything everything works as it's supposed to and uh, yeah that's pretty much it ragazzi with this all said, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day, and brother else, keep it cool and stay awesome. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna get my ragazzi. I'm freaking out of here. Peace.